Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Skyborn. In this episode, we're going to continue on the forest, just showing that you can heal here. And um, and you can make uh, equipment here. Or weapons. More specifically, you'd want to make weapons. So to the right here... Is the Nordenwald Grove. Or Subterranean. And we're going to want to um, go through this area next. And there would be some enemies here, but unfortunately when I was recording this part, I had some difficulties with lag for some reason. Which occasionally happens when I go to kill an enemy for the when I start up the recording and it doesn't go right. I don't know why. Gonna go over this way, and there's another enemy. And let's see here. I didn't level up the Sullivan's energy to be able to use any abilities. But that attack did. So let's see here. Let's try emulate. And then one sec. I just regular attack. Uh, Casket can attack one. Let it attack the other. So can do a regular attack. And there we go. Okay. Debilitate. And that should be it. Nope, it's not quite it. give me an extra turn like I wanted, but... And I can't use Shockwave. There we go. Another enemy down. Glitter. Got another enemy. Got this really fast. Just have core and life steal with his uh, weapon there. So it doesn't waste his MP. Okay. Let's get rid of one of the Berserises. Napalm. Make use of both turns. It's 
Pull that down. I believe there's nothing on the left side now for us, so let's go to a different side. Sullivan's now level 32. That door's open for us now, but... You know. is now thir or 32, I believe, and Colin is now also 32. So it's down there. Let's go. Okay. Same stick for this one. Gold nugget, which is basically just for selling. We've unlocked the next part, so we can go through here now. So, get this guy out. Kill this one. And then, take that one out. got this gold nugget. Now, the dungeon of this place is a little bit confusing to try to navigate. Um, it loops. Not this place, but the next place that we go to, it's going to loop, and I've found that it's easier now that I've beaten the game a couple times, but when I first played it, it was really hard to navigate because I didn't realize that it was looping. Um, I just thought it was one really big area. I see what live face does if I don't click the right person. So it will just simply not do anything. It'll just heal whoever it clicks on. It's not great, but. Oops. Got another XP sparkly? Excuse me, enemy. There we go. Okay, debilitate. And... and we're good. Gold nugget. A lot of XP sparklies over here. What's he 
flakina ore. I don't really need any of that flakina ore, but I guess it's nice to have. I believe this is one of the last enemies that we have to fight here. And that should be it. One thing about Alda is whether you're playing a normal mode or hard mode or whatever mode, um, she's always really strong so that you can beat these areas if you didn't kill any enemies. Because she's already at the level that is optimal for this area. To beat without game over anyway. Tesco's gonna die. Because Sylvan, I don't think he guards against single target magic attacks. Let's use Lazarus. It's gone. Everyone's getting closer to level 33. Pretty nuts. We go through here. Oh my. Look at this place. It seems to go on for miles in every direction. It's quite easy to get lost down here, but if we're vigilant about remembering landmarks, we have nothing to fear. We're not going to be doing that because that's where we have to go. So, that area is the one I was telling you about, Luke's. But if you, like uh, she said, um, have landmarks, then you're fine. Let's go back to the jelly. Couldn't do anything. Well, let's try Napalm then. So we've been leveled up to 33. We also got a Miracle Herb. So the reason why you want to avoid that is that there was a gold switch over there, which is activated by this. Which activates that gold switch door from way down there. This, you get the Ace of Spades card. As far as I'm aware, there's only a few left in the world that we have to collect. Because we need 13 and we have... Let's see... 4... 8... 9... Okay, so the Remembering Landmarks part. Basically... Alright. Each loop has its own section. So for example, this is a loop. You go all the way to the end of it. There's also an enemy here. But if you go all the way to the end of that, then you have the landmark there. Also, generally, it's a good idea to... Um, I 
kill all the enemies in each section so that you have... If you see new enemies, then that means that's a place you haven't gone yet. Um... Which is also a good way of discerning where you are. Okay. It's one down. You'll see that there's places that you can go in and out of. But, see that's the one loop completed. Speed this guy up. Didn't kill it, but that's okay. Which is all sensory and so does Skull Run. Okay, let's do a circle of healing really quick. I also think we're gonna end the episode off here because this area is really expansive and big and it's gonna take more than this episode to clear it all and even if I did record all of it right now it probably wouldn't contain the boss which is something I really want to record in the next episode so the next episode We'll be clearing up the Northern Walled Subterranean. See you guys then.